The conservative madness continues. So Fox News was talking about the Pew Research study and they wanted to uh, share their opinions about women being the primary bre uh, breadwinners within the household. And of course, uh, he, Lou Dobbs had uh, some interesting things to say. Let's t take a listen to that. Something we don't usually do. And I, I want to turn to a, a study in the, in the Pew Research uh, showing that women uh, have become the uh, the breadwinners in this country and a lot of other concerning and troubling statistics. This should be in large <laughs> letters on the front page of every newspaper in America because what we're seeing with four out of ten families now, the woman is the primary breadwinner. You're seeing the disintegration of marriage. You're seeing men who were hard hit by the economic recession in ways that women weren't. But you're seeing, I think, systemically, larger than the political stories that we follow every day, something going terribly wrong in American society, and it's hurting our children, and it's going to have impact for generations to come. Uh, th that was their resident liberal on Fox Business. That's Juan he, Williams. He actually <laughs> didn't say anything that crazy. Um, well, he talked about the disintegration of marriage. Which is true. Okay, I know, but... It, it, but he t framed it in the context of women being the primary uh, breadwinners in 40% of the homes, which is the Pew study, mm -hmm. and he said it's terrible, etc. I mean, I would have been a lot more clear about where I was going with it, and, uh, and obviously Lou Dobbs in the beginning didn't miss any words. He just said, this is 40% of women being the bread primary breadwinners. Troubling statistic. And by the way, he he c compared that to, or I should say, he turned it into like this dangerous um, money-making pro-abortion cocktail. It was like the weirdest thing. Like we didn't, we don't have that part of the clip for you, but I just want to quickly uh, mention it because he was like, yeah, and then these women and their abortions, and it's like. His view of liberal women is like, yeah, we go to work during our lunch break, we go get a quick abortion, and then uh, we come back. <laughs> like, it's just incredible to me the way these guys think, and it's just, it's like a demented way of thinking. It goes to that same point yeah. of, God damn it, we can't control them anymore. Remember when we used to be able to tell them what to do? Now they're earning all this money, primary breadwinners, and troubling. Troubling. And you but notice another thing: if they have more kids, if they don't have, if they want a choice, whatever they want to do with their bodies, if I can knock her up, she's got to stay at home. Then she can't go make the money. Yeah. It's just it's another thing about keeping them in, in, your, in, your, in your in your in your one living room. Can't move. Barefoot, pregnant. It's like from 1960. Right. Well, the entire Fox News, Fox Business channels are from the 1960s or 1950s that's and by the way so is their audience yeah like that's when they were growing up is, is in that time period or were had it become adults actually because the average age is near 70 for for these channels so now if you thought that was bad wait till you get a load of the rest of them yeah so here's eric erickson and uh, what he had to say was ridiculous Lou, I'm so used to liberals telling conservatives that they're anti-science, but I mean, th this is uh, liberals who defend this and say it's not a bad thing are very anti-science. When you look at biology, look at the natural world, the roles of, of a, a male and a female in society and other animals. The, the male typically is the, the dominant role. The, the female, it's not antithesis or it's not competing. It's a complementary role. We as people in a smart society have lost the ability to have complementary relationships uh, in nuclear families. And it's it's tearing us apart. The, and what I find interesting in the survey is that three quarters of the people surveyed recognize that having moms as the primary breadwinner is bad for kids and bad for marriage. It, and reality shows us that's the truth. Well, the politicians won't say it. That's yeah. what bothers right. me, Eric. Uh, okay. Oh, there comes a uh, yeah. liberal again, yeah, by the so way. Crazy. <laughs> and I, I like how well women were represented on that panel. I know, not a single <laughs> woman, which is amazing. By the way, before we get to the meat of the matter, I just want to make a quick uh, superficial comment about the fact that Eric Erickson doesn't move his face at all except for his lips when he talks. Oh, and it's super distracting. Can we just use that as B-roll for a quick second? Mm -hmm. Just focus on his face. Like, nothing moves. His cheeks don't move. His eyes don't move. It's almost like move. a cartoon. It's, it's just... It's like that Conan <laughs> skit with the lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, but anyway, okay, let's right. talk about the substance. <laughs> okay, what I love is that he, th he calls smart, smart society, yeah. he thinks he's being scientific. What an idiot! That's, you, you think that in the, in the natural world that, in, that males are dominant and, and 
in all the different animals? That's not true at all. And it depends on the species. It really does, and it depends on the animal. I mean, Amanda Marcotte wrote a really great piece on this, and she talks about uh, you know uh, the foxes, right? Foxes actually are very egalitarian, and what happens is both the male and female foxes will go out there and they'll hunt for food for their children. So, so, so to say, like, no, this is how ma males and females were designed. I mean. It's funny because he's trying to make a point about how Republicans are not anti-science, and as he's saying that, he's being very anti-science. I believe the penguins, the male takes care yes. of the egg, and the female goes to get the food. Yes. Right, and you know the praying mantis, where the female bites the head off the male after sex. Pretty dominant woman there. Okay, yeah. I mean, and the funny thing is the smugness on his face. Like, oh, oh I have studied science and concluded that my Neanderthal opinions are correct. Okay, this is not. And by the way, when you talk about monkeys and apes and uh, that are the closest to us among the, the obviously that in the animal kingdom, oh, we're not. First of all, they live in communities, so it's totally different. It's not like in some of the apes, the male is dominant and he has a harem, right? In other communities, it's wild sex, right? Chimpanzees well, about are having sex nonstop, and and in New York, bonobos, and and it's not the traditional like. What Judeo-Christian? The monkeys aren't Judeo-Christian. <laughs> okay, they they're uh, having straight sex. They're having gay sex. They're taking care of the kids together. S sometimes the woman gets the food. Sometimes the guy gets the food. Sometimes they rip each other's face off. <laughs> okay, you don't know anything about science, so please stop pretending. God, they're so stupid, and they bathe in their stupidity. I know they're proud of it. They're like boastful. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> the liberals don't like to be say the conservatives are anti-science, and I'm about to prove them right.